Greetings. I hope you are well and prospering. Welcome to this uh, Q&A. It's really not a Q&A. It's a, I don't know what you'd call this. Well, let me tell you what's going to happen and then you tell me whether this is useful or not and you can figure out a name. This really isn't a training blog. It's a way I'm putting out a new report that I've sort of come up with. Um, everywhere I go, people have asked me about Accounts Receivable Aging Report. The aging report that comes on the main program doesn't work quite right. And, well, it doesn't work right at all, to come to think of it. And so I hope this one is going to work okay for you. This sort of introduces it to you and shows you how you can download it. Um, well, or maybe I better make sure I cover where you can download it. It's just right below this video is another uh, a link. Okay, let's get started. In this video today, I'm introducing to you the Accounts Receivable Aging Q&A. This is not something you make yourself. We made it for you, and we hope that it works. We haven't had a chance to test it out too much, so the first few of you will, will see how well it works in your organization, and hopefully it will give me some feedback. It's a little bit complicated how it's built, um, at the end of this video, I'll, I'll give you a, a peek at the way it's built, but you don't need to understand how it was built to see if it works. Uh, to run it, you uh, first off have to change your query here, change this to your current to your business unit. And so um, I'm running this on this business unit here, ADV and what period do you want to run it as of. So the current period, I'm putting in 2013-001, just as a sample, but yeah, the current period is important because it gives you the position these are. So less than one month old, one month old, so forth, is all based on the current period. And then what accounts do you want to analyze? And for our demonstration purposes, we're using ER to ERZZZ. If you're a school, you'd want to change this to S, to SZZZZZ. And, and that's all there is to it. You then uh, extract it. And it, the extraction takes a few minutes. Um, I will try to get you some real-time figures on this, but uh, just to sort of follow this along, We've been at it for 15 uh, seconds for this organization. We're now at 30 seconds or so that it's been working on the extraction. And I imagine for a large organization, it could go up to 15, 20, or 30 minutes for it to extract. It is doing a tremendous amount of work. Okay, we're at 45 seconds. Two minutes have gone by in at least U.S. vernacular. We have a saying that says, a watch pot never boils. Well, that's exactly what we have here. Okay, so it took about three minutes, and while we're on the subject, let's uh, talk about this. This organization had looked at 232 employee accounts and uh, so you can get an idea of how long it will take for your organization. So I, it, this took about three, let's say four minutes to do 232. I imagine that it's fairly linear. So if you've got 2,000 students, you're gonna take 30 minutes to calculate. Okay, let's look at what we've got. We have automatic, the heading of the organization up across the top, automatic, account aging, and the accounts used in the analysis. And this, I have intentionally had an error kick in here. 
This is an error if your dates are not set up right. This is using the automatic date functionality. And so if you will go to the second page, this tells you how to set up. If you are getting this error here, you need to go to the Use Notes and follow this on how to get the automatic date functionality working. This is standard SunPlus date functionality, so all of our reports that we ever make for you will depend on you setting it up. It's very simple to follow those instructions. Okay, and the totals are across the top here, and then the aging is here, so this would be one month old stuff, uh, less than one month old, one month old things, two month old things, three month old things, four month old, five months and older than five months and then of course to make it make sense we also have to parse out these are all the account balances so we need to segment out the credit balances and that's what's happening in this column so you can follow the aging across here the total of all of these you could see right across here are equal to the total of all of the accounts receivable balance. Now this is um, not exactly matching the accounts receivable balance on your financial statements because this is just looking at the segment you designated and it is also uh, your financial statements have the uh, look at the debit balances as receivable and these credit balances and payable but we, I thought it would be more useful to design it this way where you have complete control. And so I hope that you find this as useful. Now if you go to push these out to Excel, which to me is a nat natural thing, okay, you can watch the video on putting things out to Excel, uh, you will need to hide. You can see that the columns used in constructing this, we've got A, B, C, D, and then I've got about eight or nine hidden columns here okay and uh, so those hidden columns you probably will want to delete if you put it out to Excel they will be hidden if you put it out to Excel so no need to but you might want to and also these column totals I think do not work right once you put it out to Excel so you'll need to create your own totals using your um, Excel skills to come up with your totals and you'll want to make sure that your totals match my totals if that makes any sense or if you put it out to Excel. I will mention one other thing is that you cannot drill down over in the these sets so if you want to check the accuracy drill down on the individual accounts and come up with your own sense of the aging and compare it to the aging done by this automatic report. So that you cannot drill down on these, you have to drill down on just the numbers in this column and, and see if it doesn't, if it's not correct, uh, doing it correctly. You need to, to take the figures here with a little bit of skepticism and check a few to make sure that it is working correctly. So uh, this would be a good one to check here. It's got three different age groups to see if it's picking up the age group correctly with the payments. So thank you and I hope you find this is useful and for sure I would appreciate it if you drop to the bottom uh, below this video and indicate that you got it working okay or that it is not working okay. If you want to see how it was built you can unhide the columns here in design view. Okay and unhide the columns here and you're going to walk into the biggest uh, nest of confusion you've ever seen in your life. Um, what it basically does is it looks at all the debit entries coming in based on their age and then it looks at the total credit entries and uses uh, uh, FIFO putting the oldest collection toward the oldest, I'm mean, putting any collection toward the oldest debit entry and and bring in whatever is not used to that collection, cash collection, against the next oldest and so forth. And that's the way this thing was constructed. I at first was thinking I would show it to you, but that would just add confusion. But you're welcome to unhide these. And um, a really interesting thing is how I've had to come up with the total 
the the amount that is uh, showing as totals is very uh, creative Q&A work here going on here. I'd be happy to answer any questions about it the way it was constructed. So thank you and uh, let me know how this works for you.